Welcome back to our second video that focuses on the Comments API. Just as a friendly reminder, uh, there was a first video that went through kind of the overall concept of what the API does, and then did a basic setup of how to display different parts of each of the comments, including the photo, if there is a photo, the name of the person who provided the comment, and any text that they added whenever they made the comment. This video is focusing on scrolling through all of the comments in your room using some input mechanisms in order to switch which comment you are seeing. So the first thing I want to do is I want to jump into the code for each of these plus or minus buttons. And this is what we will use in order to scroll forward or to the newer comments with the plus and then backward or to older comments that were posted. So let's jump into each one of those first. They're pretty simple. And so in this, we just have an on click function with a sound for the click. And then we are broadcasting this newer string. And what this is actually doing is sending information that will be received in the floppy disk to know to shift which comment you are seeing. In this case, run the newer function. For the same regard, when we click on the minus, and we go to the code, it is the exact same code here with the exception of we are broadcasting older in order to trigger a different function in the floppy drive. So overall, pretty easy on this end. Now, the critical part is that we wanna jump into the floppy disk and we want to add code to the newer and older functions that we've we've got. So I've got them down here just to make sure my syntax was correct. And so let's focus in on the on newer. And so we notice that we set this up by saying function on newer, and we need to put the on in front of it because it is triggered when we receive uh, information from either a send or a broadcast of newer. And so whenever newer is broadcast, this on newer function runs. And so what we are saying is if the current comment is less than or equal to one, then say there are no newer drawings or no newer comments. And it's important to note that in the list of comments, newer comments are added to the beginning. So the newest comment, its index or its location in the list would be one whereas your older comments would have higher numbers. And so when we see that the else function, which means that we may have a current comment of two or greater, we are actually decreasing that number to get closer to one. And so this line here, um, so if we are greater than one, we would skip this if statement because it's not being found as true. And then because this is an else, we would automatically run the commands that are within it. And so current comment, whatever number that would be, let's say it's two for this example, uh, a new value for current comment would be the old value of current comment, which was two minus one, which would mean the new value for current comment is one. Then we're going to run the show comment function for that new current comment. And we already created the show comment function in our last video. And so that is all set up to display the photo, the username, and then also the text of that particular comment on the appropriate items in the room. So just to give a quick summary of what on newer does, if it is the newest comment, then it will say no new drawings. If it is not the newest comment, it will run this else statement, which will shift it one comment newer by decreasing the index. Function on older is very similar. It just moves in the other direction. So if current comment is greater than or equal to the number of comments that you have, what that means is you are at the oldest comment. And so this will say no older drawings because you're at the end of the list. Now, if you are earlier in the list, as in not the oldest comment, the else function will run here. And so let's say that we were at comment three and there are six total comments. We would say that the current comment, this one right here is three. 
we would then add one to it, which would make it four, and that would reassign current comment to be that new value of four. We would then run show comment on that new comment, which is four, which would show you a one older comment in the list. Now, if this is kind of confusing, I totally understand that the concept of lists of things are a bit more complicated than some other things in rooms. And so if you're not really 100% sure, this is copy and pasteable. And the thing to consider is you just want to make sure that you are focusing on all of the variable names and the basic setup, and then it should work within your room. But this video is about kind of talking through what each of the items does, how it works, and so on and so forth. So at this point, we should be able to click check. And if we go into our room, uh, there's a one thing I want to note. If you notice, the minus and the plus are automatically showing no older and no newer drawings. And that is because we didn't really uh, kind of populate the comments yet. And so uh, it would be appropriate for these to be hidden until I click the floppy drive, uh, which would bring up the comments. But for visual purposes, I just wanted to leave them in there. So whenever I click the floppy drive, you can see that this will display the latest comment. And so what that means is if I press the plus, we should see no newer comments, which we do. If we press the minus, we should have a ton of older comments. And so if I click minus, we go back a comment, back a comment again, back a comment again, back a comment again, whole bunch in here. And then eventually you get to no older drawings. Now when I click plus, oh, I had a print in there, sorry. And we can see that that just for validation, the comment index is going down as we go newer. So that's a nice validation there. Uh, now, the next thing to consider is let's just have a proof of concept here. And so if I go back to play and I hit the floppy, this is the newest image. Uh, let's take a new one and then we're gonna post photo and then we'll say this is now the newest. Post it. Uh, we can then hit the floppy again and it will refresh and it'll say, this is now the newest comment. And we can verify that it is now first in the list.